there when I bet it. All right, let's move on to NHL. One game on the marquee, Stars, Avs. Stars, Avs. And at this point, I don't know how – and Dutch Boy Fresh, yeah, that is a great point, Chili Dog. I, I think it's – um. I think there's excuses now with the back fracture, how well they played. But we know what happens when we, we question Dame. He steps up. So Stars Avalanche. I think the Avalanche are a very good hockey team. Very good. I think Dallas beat a weak Calgary Flames team. Colorado won six of eight games in the round robin and in, in the West quarterfinal series. Four of those games, they've won by three or more. Ten players have scored at least a goal. And Nazem Kadri is the kind of player you need in the playoffs. But it's not only that. It's when Pittsburgh won those Stanley Cups, it was that their best player wasn't a Tyler Sagan, a soft, easy-to-play-against forward. McKinnon is tough to play against. I know he's not, what is he, 5'11", 6 feet? But he's a tough kid, and he's accountable. He's responsible. The king in the house. Great to see you, the king. <laughs> Steve saying autograph signings too. I only autograph tits, Steve, of the female variety. And it happens very rarely, almost never. Let's go with never. How about never? I got to do it a few times when I was a stand-up comic, but those – the problem with signing tits is, you know, titty sweat. Just – it races quickly. I not only think the Avalanche will take care of business, but I would love it if the Stars could win game one and then get a nice price on the series. I think the Stars are going to have a tough time, a very, very tough time. Steve saying that you're cutting out of the population. <laughs> Chris Blanchard says Dallas in seven plus six fifty. Dallas is a good hockey team. And Heiskinen is a very special defender. I like the additions of, of Perry and Pavelski to to try to give some accountability to Ben and Sagan. Radulov is a tough player to play against. The Stars are a good hockey team. I just think the Abs are a really good hockey team. I think the Avalanche can win the Stanley Cup. The Stars can win the Western Conference. And and I don't think this line is right for the series. Right now for the series, it's – wow, and it's still getting bet. Holy shit. So it was minus 250 plus 210, minus 250 for the Abs, now it's minus 260. Plus 215. C-Max says value with stars. They, these teams play each other tough. I mean, they do. The stars swept the season series, but the Avs beat them 4-0 in the second game of the round robin. I think, yeah, Kevin, Vancouver is uh, very, it's incredible. The city is very, very excited. And I wrote an article about how the Canucks were going to be so good next year. And I wrote that in the heat, the heart of the pandemic, and we didn't think we were coming back. Uh, Brian Warner, I would I would hesitate from first period action in game one of a series. I, I would – when you're betting first periods, you want to have, a, like, a real legitimate angle. So I'm not saying it's a bad bet, but I just – Reese already has the Canucks nights over. I like it. But remember, the Knights aren't the overtrending team that uh, a vividness recency makes us think. Well, the question is, is it too late to get on Avalanche Futures? They have to beat Dallas and the winner of Vegas Canucks to get to the conference final. That's not easy. And you're only getting plus 175 there. And then for the cup, you're getting plus 400. No Jenny Tools. We are Tuesday to Saturday. 
Tuesday to Saturday. Brandon Lugo says, who would you say is the best goalie left in the playoffs and the worst as far as who usually plays? Uh, that's interesting. I would say that the best goalie left in the playoffs is Vasilevsky. I'll say Vasilevsky is the best goalie left. And I would say the worst goalie left is probably Halak. Probably Halak. Uh, Kevin Linebeer, we're not going to re-sign Markstrom for six and a half million a year, so... I'm not sure if he's going to stay with the Knucklets. Okay, I think it's time to get on the Avalanche train. So if you want the Avalanche minus one, Stars are feeling good about themselves. Maybe it's best just to watch a game. It'd be really nice if the Stars could steal game one. But I just don't see how they do that. The Avalanche are a very, very good hockey team. You get almost even money on the minus one line. I think that's worth taking it. I'm going to take the Avalanche minus one in game one here. And then in the next couple hours, I'm going to decide whether I think there's value on a futures bet on the Avalanche at this point. And clearly I missed the boat. But what I saw from them was the type of team that can win the Stanley Cup. And it'd be fun to cheer for Burnaby Joe. So I very possibly am going to make future bets on the Avalanche to win the conference and to win the Cup, plus 175 and plus 400. So. Uh, yeah, Chris and Dallas did sweep them. Now, two of those games went to overtime or shootouts, and I'm not sure exactly what. But this just seems like a locked-in squad. Brian Warner, good luck out there. Thank you for sharing all your action. Chris Blanchard says, I personally feel the abs are one year away, but that's just an opinion. Their defense might be, but their forwards are ready to go. Corey says, don't see any team beating Colorado. Maybe the Lightning I, I and maybe the Bruins. And the story so far even says, no, the abs are here now. The abs, to me, what I've seen so far in the in the hub is that the Avalanche are the best team in the NHL. The Woj says Vegas over abs. I, I think the abs are better than Vegas. I, I've said that all year long. So, but I, I'm, I'm not, and I'm not saying you're wrong, Woj, because Vegas has been there before. Leo Leon's the Flyers are also playing well. Flyers are going to be tough to beat. I don't think they can beat the abs, though. Uh, Reese says, I think maybe Canes and Nucks are a year away, but the abs are ready now. The Woes giving a Vegas Tampa final. And there you have it. Okay, so I'm on the abs minus one today, and, I, and I'll probably be on them minus one every game. 